Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Sim 22. We are still on this coaster and we're looking here at planks. So we need 100 planks and planks long. Looks like we need a couple thousand which we have there. So let's throw these in. I don't remember if I was saving these or not. Wait, no, 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 no. I am saving these. We have 5,000 planks longs in this. So we really just need planks and we're actually going to set these down. Here comes Gertie. There might be some microphone bumping. There's nothing I can do about it. She will not be denied access to this room. So we'll put up with it. Um, let's go buy planks and we'll just buy like Quite a few, I guess, because we're going to save time in the long run and we don't really need the money for anything else. And then we'll work on beams. And I think today we'll actually get past that first or that that step that we're on and see if we can get through like one or two steps very quickly, depending on what the next step needs. We can sell that sower. We're not leasing it, are we? Are we leasing anything? No. That would have been silly. All right, let's see how much these planks are. I honestly don't have any idea. So not cheap. I thought these are all cheaper. Yeah, whatever. Let's buy six. Sure. And let's buy while we're here. Let's buy two. Sure. Um, do we have our metal set to sell? Yeah. So we're still making quite a bit of money off our metal. We can always do another run when we need money. We also make money when we sell, like when we put this in the coaster, we'll get some of the money back, so it's not like a total loss. What? That was poorly done. I'm better than that. There we go. Cool. So we'll just kind of haul these out slowly but surely. Planks I might just pick up with my hands because I I kind of justify by saying they're small and I just want to. So. Oh, and by the way, you can rotate items. I had a great comment that was like, hey, just hold down the middle mouse button. And then it's like, um, uh, Half-Life 2. And I was, it's like, yeah, I don't know why I never even, like, tried to rotate stuff. And, and here's the thing, there's probably a point where I did. Like, there's probably a video where I'm like, hey guys, you can rotate stuff. And then I just forgot. But yeah, you can just rotate. You don't have to do, like, weird finagly stuff like I've been doing. So that's nice. Because they always, like, tip when you run with them. And you have to have them flat-ish so they actually get taken by the product. Oh. What is happening? Okay. Now this one got messed up, of course. Yeah, it makes it easier. Um, definitely got to get better at it, but two more of these. Not work. It was an accident, but I'll take it. Okay, kind of a messy. Uh... Well, look at all those solar panels. This entire building is sun sun powered, I guess.
Uh, so last time, and I think I got distracted, but last time I like started talking about StarCraft 2 and holy cow, I'm not going to spoil. This will be spoiler free. I won't mention names or what they, you know, who they were playing, but what an absolutely incredible Katowice. Like it was so exciting from start to finish, especially the finish. Like, I was in bed last night watching it, like, instead of reading like I usually do, but I just wanted to... It's a lot of StarCraft 2. Like, that's one thing I'll say about Katowice is there are dozens and dozens of hours of StarCraft 2 to watch, so I've been... Like I said, I, I was watching... I watched everything that was on Stream A, and then there's, like, a Stream B and a Stream C, and I don't really understand how like the tournament is put together but i skipped those because i didn't need like 40 more hours of content uh so i but i watch everything else um except okay well let's check here before i oh i know what we're doing we're just doing more forklifts all right we're just gonna put beams from there onto here so let's remember how to open these curtains curtain right front and then you open with Z. Please start engine. There we go. We actually didn't need this large of a truck, but we'll take it. Oh, we only have four beams and we need like way more. Do we have more wood processing? Yeah, we have a lot. Should we just go take a nap? Let's just go take a nap because uh, otherwise we just kind of have to wait anyway, so. Like I said, if we could level up, if there was like an RPG type system where we could level up our production somehow, like either by paying for it or just using it a lot, and like the more you leveled it up, like either the, maybe the faster it produced, um, probably wouldn't make sense to like get more money. I guess if you could like refine it more or somehow make it like higher quality, you can make more money from it. I don't know. It would just be another layer because sometimes the production feels very slow. Um... But anyway, these should all be done now. Yes, that is what we want. We just want a lot of wood beams. A lot, a lot, a lot. Did it finish then? Do we have... There's still actually some being produced. But that's okay, we'll take all these down. Um, so we, oh, I lost, I don't know where I was, but basically, yes, I watched a ton of Kedvicha. And it was absolutely, this makes way more sense, absolutely incredible. Like, I don't even really follow StarCraft 2, and by really, I mean, I kind of don't at all. Like, I did for a few years, I think. I, you know, I, like, watched Polt stream. And again, if if you know who Polt was, or is, I, guess, I mean, who he is, you know that that goes back a few years. Um, and, like, a lot of great Korean players he had his mandatory military and came back and just like kind of didn't get back into starcraft like couldn't quite get to the level he was which was unfortunate but i watched him stream a lot like i think he's the only starcraft 2 streamer I ever actually like watched on twitch because he was well he was good um he was terran which i enjoy watching even though when i tried to like play competitively which was like a week of my life because it's insane how much work goes into it i played zerg because i thought zerg was more fun to play but i did like watching terran but anyway so i watched a lot of Holt, and then he eventually retired and kind of stopped streaming starcraft 2 so that uh that's about it and again that was years ago that might have been like pre-covid uh, i mean that was but but this tournament like if you like Start if you like esports even a little bit, and you like StarCraft even a little bit, because again I don't play competitively. I, I basically just have played like the single player campaign. Um. Oh, why does this keep happening to me? Yeah, I you should you should go watch go go to the is it ESL? That's so annoying because now that one's not going to sell all because it just tipped over. You know, we can just do a little uh, one of these. 
good use of the strong mod. Um, Gertie's snoring right now. I know some of you do hear her again. I'm not going to wake her up. She's cute. Yeah, and, and without I can't really go into why it was exciting because I don't want to spoil anything. But just maybe it was just because it's been so long since I've watched it. That's probably a lot of it. You know, if I'd like followed it for the last three years, it probably wouldn't have been as exciting. Cause like, yeah, that's probably all of it. After all, all is all is said. Stop doing the same thing. Learn a lesson or two. I'm talking to myself. Like, fool me once, you know? So yeah, really all I'm trying to say is find the ESL. I don't know, you can probably just type in like StarCraft 2 Tournament or Catafiche. Be careful because um, there's already like videos out there kind of documenting it. So you'll, you might see spoilers, which, uh, you know, if that's important to you. Come on, get off the forklift. I'm getting angry. This is me getting mad. Get off the fork. Okay. Two more trips. Hopefully they'll go a little better. How much can we fit in here? So that's, yeah, that's really been my, like, life. Is just watching StarCraft 2. I actually did buy StarCraft Remastered. Because it was on sale for, like, seven and a half dollars. So I'm working my way through the StarCraft Remastered campaign. I have not played the StarCraft campaign since high school, which for me would have been like, I probably played it in like 2004 or five, which would have only been like, at the time it felt like, this isn't going to fit, is it? That's kind of annoying. Hmm. Here I know what I can do. At the time when I played it, Starcraft like felt so old but looking back I'm like Starcraft was because it came out in 98 it was probably like six years old and you think of today like look at Skyrim Skyrim is now 11 and you know 11 years old going on 12 no wait it came out in November 11 2011 yeah so it's 12 years old going on 13 Right? And it's still, I mean, it, yes, it's old, but it doesn't feel, I don't know, it just felt ancient. But anyway, I played it way back then, so I'm, it's kind of fun to go through it again. Um, I definitely did not remember any of the story, however, I did kind of get stomped on one of the single player, and it's not even that difficult, but I uh, definitely lost a match yesterday. Or a mission, I guess. They're missions because it's single player. Uh, still on Terran, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I just need to... I need to... get a stupid science vessel out just for those stupid ghost nukes, which keeps messing me up. So I should fix my current mission I'm on. And then uh, I'm excited. It's always fun to like... Cause by, oh my... Just get in the truck. Stay in the truck. Um, it's always fun. Oh my goodness. And this is the same with StarCraft 2. Is that kind of by the time... What is happening? I can't even... By the... There. Perfect. Perfect. And we're just going to leave it open. Actually, I think Z, yeah, Z is easy enough to close. Cool, okay, you can probably fit a lot in there if you actually try, um, or if you're actually decent at doing it. Um, it's always fun, like, by the time you finish, like, the Terran campaign, for example, you've sort of had your fill of playing Terran, and you're, like, so ready for the next thing, and it's, like, always perfectly timed to be, like, hey, I'm kind of, like, good and then all of a sudden you get to start Zerg, and you're like, oh, this is awesome. It's like new and fresh and exciting. And then the same thing, and then you get to play Protoss, which is, and they're all so completely different. It's a great, great game. I doubt we'll ever see a StarCraft 3. I mean, it's been, so it's, I think 
Wings of Liberty came out in 2011. I might be off a year or two, but I think it was right around 2011. And of course, they did it episodically, which at the time I hated. Looking back, so glad they did it because they were able to provide like super high quality games, really high quality like uh, cinematics. Like it's a great story, great fun campaign. Highly recommend you, even if you don't want to play like competitively, which I highly recommend not doing. Um, yeah, just a fun game. But uh, so that was in 2011. Let's see, we're getting a lot of money. Oh, there's, there we go. So now, so that was 12 years ago now. And from 98, so looking from StarCraft to StarCraft 2 would have been 2008 to 2011. So that's 13 years. So we're coming up on about the same, like, um, timeline. And then just when you look at, like, Blizzard as a company and how different they are now. Um, they did announce at Ketavicha that StarCraft 2 is continuing on in 2023. Like, the StarCraft 2 eSport scene. So that's awesome. But I don't, I don't foresee a StarCraft 3, um, which is too bad. Okay, should we just do a, a little, uh, little one of these and see what happens? Okay, we got a thousand beams still in the next steps. This is nice. We are progressing and we're done. Oh, stop. Okay. So we need, we already got the wood beams, we already got the planks, we already got the planks longs, we already got the metal, we already got the tiles, and we need like 1100 staircase railings. Um, so if I jump to the turner, do we have any, oh my gosh, yeah we do. I basically need two pallets of these. Can I carry two pallets? No. That's not going to work. That also means we should probably just put these in. And if we have too many staircase railings, oh well. In the long run, I think it is just going to save us time to just have it. It's, it's easy enough to buy planks. It takes a lot more time to turn planks into railing. But the nice thing is we're going to finish this step today. Like, I'm basically just going to take these railings here, and then um, we can just do a big fast forward again and see what the next step is. I have no idea what step we're on. I don't think it tells us. If it does, I just haven't uh, noticed. All right, let's throw these. Good. Let's get these closer, then I'll cl clean it up. Yeah, that was a lot of StarCraft 2 talk. I, th I think I'm done. I think I'm out. Um, and then the only other game I've really played lately besides Farming Sim and StarCraft Remastered is Octopath Traveler 2 Demo. I absolutely loved I know a lot of people are like lukewarm on Octopath Traveler, but I loved it. I don't know if it just hit like at the right time, but I like absolutely was obsessed with playing that game. Um, and the second one comes out this Friday. The demo came out last week, so I, I think it's like three hours you can play. Um, and I think I'm like two hours in, so I'll probably give it like another hour before the weekend just to see if I really want to buy Octopath Traveler 2, but I probably will. Okay, we should be good. I'm just going to do this and probably keep talking, I guess. And we'll just watch. Um, yeah, it's like very much the same. It's got the same exact eight character classes. So it has like Apothecary, Scholar, Thief, Merchant, all the same. 
Um, ooh, we can see this getting built out finally. Um, but they add two kind of cool mechanics things. One is nighttime. So you can just switch between day and night with R2 or whatever they... Oh, look at that. Okay. Wow. Oh, let's just do this because I have no idea. I kind of just want the numbers to stop so then I can take stock a little easier. Plus, look at what's happening here. Are we done? It's No, we... Okay. Stop. It is dark. Uh, let's just... We'll sleep tomorrow. Or, uh, next, not tomorrow, next episode. Okay, so looking at our uh, roller coaster here, we basically now need just a bunch of, like, little things. We should have the beams. Prefab wall we can buy pretty easily. And then I have no idea how to do chair, table, shingle, barrel, buckets. So those are all things we will look at next time, which means we're going to have to buy probably one or two production chains for that. Um, but yeah, that is exciting. So now I can probably Google and kind of figure out what step we're on and how many more we have to go. So that is an episode. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about StarCraft II. Um, oh, Octopath Traveler 2. Yeah, that's nighttime, which means you have a different like skill at night. And then they add latent power, like which is another ability. So yeah, it does freshen things up. I just wanted to get that out there. So I uh, had finished, closed the thought, I guess. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe below. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.